Hi friends, Mrs. LeBron here. I'm here to practice some fish hooking with you and then also some grammar practice today. So we'll have two activities um, that I'll have you watch and then I'll have you practice your own fish hooking and also marking your own grammar symbols in the next slides, okay? So we're gonna practice. You can either watch or you can do it with me, but here is my word. So if you're writing it, if you're gonna do it with me, then write that on your board. If not, then watch how I go ahead and fish up. Remember, we're always starting at the end of the word and you have to ask yourself some questions. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? A dot. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? A dot. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? A dot. Is this a vowel? No. All right, now we've marked all our vowels. We have to go back to the end of the word until we see a dot. And then we stop and we want to fish hook the consonant in front. Yank. Grab that consonant in front. Go to the next vowel, grab the consonant in front and make a fish hook. Go to the next vowel, grab the consonant in front, make your fish hook, okay? How many fish hooks do you have? Three. How many lines do you need? Three. How many syllables is this word? Three. Okay. Everything on the first, uh, in the first fish hook, write it on the first line. Everything on the second fish hook, write it on the second line. And everything in the last fish hook, write it in the last line. Okay. Now is important. This is the important part. We need to figure out what these vowels say. Is it the long sound? Is it the short sound? Okay. So let's go ahead and start with this one. So, oh, what do you notice? It's not safe and sound, it can run away. So this is an open syllable. That is going to shout its name and be a namer, or we also call it the long sound, the long sound of the vowel. It's gonna say, oh, so it's gonna say, oh, co. Well, look it, this one is the same. That O's gonna run away too. That's an open syllable. It's gonna shout its name, oh, k, oh, co. Take a look at the last one though. This vowel, that's protected. It's not gonna run away, so it's going to say it's sound. It's the short sound. Uh, uh, uh. So that's a closed syllable. Okay? It's important to mark your to mark your symbols for your syllables. Okay? Let's go ahead and read it. This is the most important part of fish hooking is to read the word. K o co k o co n a t nut. Okay, now let's put it together. Coconut, 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 coconut. Your word is coconut. You just fish hook the word coconut. That's a fruit. All right, so we're gonna do one more. This time, if you didn't join me the first time, I would like you to join me this time. So you'll need to get your board and your marker and eraser or paper and pencil, and let's do it right now. It's called, I'll write your, write your letters, D, O, G, S, L, E, D. Okay, so you have your letters on your board. You're gonna ask yourself the questions. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? A dot. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? A dot. Is this a vowel? No. Okay, you're going to the end of the word. You're gonna stop when you see a dot, okay? This one is a little bit different because we have a blend right here. So you can't just fish hook one letter. You have to fish hook both of them. So if it's a blend, you're gonna keep them together, okay? We'll talk more about that later, but some words are like that. Let's go ahead and go to the next dot. Grab the, grab the consonant in front, all right? So how many fish hooks do we have? Two. How many syllables? Two. All right, and so everything in the first fish hook, put on the first line. Everything on the second fish hook, put on the second line. Okay, now let's take a look and see what these vowels say. Is this vowel protected? Yes, it's closed, it's gonna say off. Oh gonna say it short vowel sound, ah, ah, ah. 
And what about this bell? That can't run away either. It's gonna say it's short sound too. This is a closed syllable as well. So now we have to do all the sounds, okay? D -a -g. D -a -g. Dog. Hmm, I think we know that word. Dog. S these are our blends. Sl. Sl. E. D. Sl. E. D. Sled. Sled. Now you have to put it together. Dog. Sled. Dog. Sled. Dog. Sled is your word. There you go. You just fish shook the word dog sled. Um, so I want you, I'm going to give you two more, two more words to um, fish hook, and then you can do it on your own. Also, we've been talking about some more grammar rules. And remember, we've been talking about nouns. We had a person noun. We have a place. And we also have things. Now, if those are proper nouns, um, if they're uppercase or if they're the name of something specific, then they're proper. These, this is just a symbol for common, okay? So I have a sentence and I am going to see if we can identify the, the um, nouns together. There is a book on letter C footprints and it's about a big pig and his name is Gilbert and he eats a lot of things. Uh, maybe you've read it. Uh, my sentence is, Gilbert is eating ice cream. I don't know if pigs really eat ice cream, but it's a thrift story, so I thought it would be a good sentence. So my here's my sentence. Gilbert is eating ice cream. So let's ask ourselves some questions, okay, about nouns. Person, place, or thing. Is there a character in the story? A person? Yeah, it's not a person, but it's a pig. But the character's name is Gilbert. And we know it's a specific name because there's an uppercase. And Gilbert, that's a boy. And so it is a proper noun. Gilbert is a proper noun. It's a specific name of the pig. All right, so it's the character. Gilbert is eating ice cream. Okay, remember our nouns are person, place, or thing. Did it talk about a place in our sentence? No, it didn't say He's eating ice cream at the farm. Nope. Um, what about a thing? Gilbert is eating ice cream. Ice cream is the thing that he's eating. So did it say specific name? Did it say cookies and cream ice cream or a different kind? Nope, just said ice cream. So that's gonna be common, common thing. Oh boy, boys and girls, I made a mistake. I made the symbol for thing up here. This is LeBron. It should be a person symbol, silly. I'm sorry about that, friends. I'm glad I caught it. All right, it's good to go back and check your work that way you know what you're doing. Gilbert is eating ice cream. This was our common thing noun, okay? So ice cream is our thing. All right, I have a couple more sentences and I took pictures from the stories so you can read those, identify the nouns, person, place, or thing, common and proper. All right, double check your work so you don't accidentally make a mistake. All right, happy reading.